Hi, my name's Bryce. Welcome back to VHS Play, where we are playing Fatal Frame 2 and recording it all on VHS. And dang, this is still a really good camera spin thing. I like it. I love that camera movement so much. It's, oh, that's strong. It's so good. Mm, they just stole our camera obscura and also our flashlight, I guess. But uh, more importantly, hey, we don't have a camera anymore. We still have the, the, the thing on screen, though. I wonder if that'll work. <laughs> Uh, okay, yeah, that still works. Great. Um. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're... No. <laughs> waiting. Waiting. Oh, jeez. She was right there. <laughs> it's not fair. <laughs> oh, well, that's a way to start the episode. Well, at least we didn't lose anything. No progress at all was lost. <laughs> okay, well, I guess let's not turn around and consider going back through this door and then change our minds and then just end up in Ghost. Oh, geez, she's really fast. <laughs> okay, well, that is just rude, having the, oh, yeah, it's blue, it's safe, and then immediately going to red, and she just rushes you like that. That, oh, that's rude. <laughs> that's really rude. I am not a fan, like, in terms of gameplay, like, it's, 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 it's a decent little spook, but ultimately, that's just mean, that's just, that's just really unkind and uncalled for, you should just have it be red. I feel like I'm going to be using these to hide. Oh, I saw ghost. That's ghost. That's ghost. Hey, door. Oh. Uh, you know what? We're going to save because. <laughs> I don't want to do that again. <laughs> okay, well that that's certainly a start to an episode. I'm, I have very mixed feelings about that whole thing. There are sickles and shovels and other tools hanging on the wall. Great, perfect. There's a big cart here. Place must have been used for storage. I see their blue lights. Wait, what? What's with the red X? I'm sorry, but what is with that red X? <laughs> That's new. The big bright red X? Is that just like, nope, do not go. <laughs> oh, there was a little side thing there that we missed. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, okay, well, I guess we're going this way, then. It's a big stack of boxes here. They look like they contain, contain scrolls and painting. Hey, herbal medicine. That's great, I guess. Uh, the closet door won't budge, no matter how hard you try to force it. Something's jamming it from the inside. Uh, 
Crimson Diary 4, because of Yai, Itsuki has been taken away somewhere. How come? Itsuki did nothing to her. It's all her fault for running away. You know those doors that you really just don't want to open? Uh, there are cushions and damp bedding to put away in the closet. Why is it damp? Old bowls and teacups stored in the chest of drawers. Sword on display on the alcove. When you try lifting it, you find it's really heavy. Who could swing this thing? Well, I at least they cover why she's not going to take the sword with that of just like, oh, this is, no, this is too much. And it's not going to do anything against the ghost anyway. Uh, beautiful picture on the cabin door. It doesn't look like there's anything inside. I'm not sure if that was supposed to be that I opened it or if it was a spooky ghost opened it. Is this just the other half of that room? Yeah. Oh, that... That's a... Oh, that is a masterclass camera angle. That's so good. If they do any sort of, like, small movements on this door, that would be stellar. But they're probably not going to because that involves loading stuff, probably. Well, hey, cloth. Good old cloth simulation. Pots and large vessels are stored on the shelves. None of them look especially useful. Something for fucking light. Fuel Mural 5. This is a very large house. I'm really concerned the instant death ghost is going to show back up. Old sandals are put away here. Okay, there is more over here. Let's check out this area. Just real big nope right on out of this. Oh, come on, come on. Is there anything? Okay. So there's something in the drawer. Great. Uh, it's a stone mirror. Can't take it. I have made a poor choice. This is a dead end. Har har, get it because I'm gonna die. <laughs> okay. Real quick. Hey, map. There is, in fact, one way out of this. Great. Perfect. Okay. I should probably take those stairs up now I think about it, because that... That will lead me back to the other house. Oh, they're still red. Oh no, they are coming out of the woodwork. Okay. Chilling out. Stairs? Stairs are fine. These stairs are really dark, though. <laughs> Mayu.
Okay, we still have spooky vision. Countless books are piled up hazardly. You can see a door beyond the bookcase, but it doesn't look like it was used much. Great, perfect, cool. Like this, uh, there is another door in here. Great, perfect. Okay. Room. There's a door there. Oh, regrets are going to be had. Where is it? This door? The door seems to be broken in one punch. No matter how hard you try, great, cool. Sorry, I'm staring at this map not so much, but, uh, spooks. <laughs> uh, door is locked. Uh, Polon Polonia? Okay, cool. I'm not going to remember that when we find that key. Small key on the shelf. Hey, I'm going to remember that when we find this key. Oh no, there's a doll with a red cord tied on it. On the shelf, the kimono looks exactly like the one the spirit you just saw was wearing. Cruel. Why did you leave me back then? I hate this. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. Okay, so, plan is, run out here, run up this way, figure out where we're going from there. Cool, let's go! Oh, this is... this is not fair. <laughs> Open the door faster, please. Cool, 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 cool. The door is stuck fast. Cold air flows in from the cracks around the door. Maybe it leads outside. Uh, single doll standing. Oh no. There are two buttons on the vice. Maybe it works just like the other one you saw, but we need the other doll. Which is back the way we came. In that closet, probably. Hopefully these dolls are a little bit more inter interchangeable than the last ones.
really not cool. Place the red cord doll on the mechanical device. Mechanic uh, mechanism seem to have started to work. Oh, these ones were drastically more of a pain. Did it. color has returned to my life. <laughs> oh, jeez. Alright, so we want to go downstairs to the film room. We'll watch our new movie. Uh, I think it's this one. Weird. Like, most everything else has been... The Ritual. That one was, uh... I don't remember her name, and I don't remember his name, but, like, the, the ghost from the start of the game. I... Ghost... By ghost... camera. Camera flashlight doesn't seem to be damaged. Great. Okay. Let's just have a, a little... There's something here. There you got a little spooky cave-in ghost. There you are. Crushed man. Real quick, hey map. Cool, nothing else to see in this game. We're leaving. And we're saving. <laughs> oh, geez. All right, so we've rearmed ourselves. We're through the, like, you can't do anything section. There's probably still going to be an amount of instant death ghosts going on, but hey, at least we have a camera and a flashlight. Um, so at the very least, if we run into a room full of villager ghosts, we can deal with that.
Look at all the color in this room. Another place shows? Or just take that door. The presence you were feeling in front of the door is gone now. Trying to get a layout of this house figured out. So that door's still marked as red. Ah, screw it. Let's just go through it. We'll come back if need be. Oh my goodness, this. Hello. Another projection reel. Yes. <laughs> More of this heavy curtain. Where am I? And this is new. Okay. You can see a hole that looks like a well under the broken floor. Cold air and low sound of wind seep up from the well. We have stairs going up. We have this door here. That is the door I just came through. It's a little confusing when you put me right next to two doors. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Uh. Oh, hey. There's something on the floor. Film Reel 6. Storeroom uh, contain old ritual implements. Well, since we have Film Reel 6 now, depending on the, how many Film Reels there are, I think we're just missing Film Reel 1? No, we have that. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So... Let's watch the Ringu ghosts come crawling out of the box. Great. I would not be surprised if we are going to suddenly find ourselves fighting one of those ghosts. Seems locked. Okay. Uh, camera angle, please. All right, there we go. Ooh, ooh. Getting proper chills up in here. <laughs> Something's reflecting the light. It's film. Uh, camera equipment. Acquired the zero power-up lens. Raises damage, blast back, uh, inflict heavier damage than normal, and enables blast back, even when it's not a shutter chance. Hmm.
uses a lot of spirit power, but affects heavier damage than blast. Great. Green Diary 4. I received a letter from Mr. Makabe that said I should leave the village and return home before him. Uh, Yai and Sai brought the letter here. They told me the out that I they told me that outsiders cannot stay because of the festival coming soon. Mr. Makabe uh, has special permission to see it. I whispered to Yai that I would come for them on the day of the ceremony. Yai tensed for the moment, then acted like she didn't hear and left. Uh, it seems they may really be planning to do to leave before the ceremony occurs. That means Itsuki must still be somewhere in the village too. Boxes are heaped in the back of the storeroom. All of the boxes are sealed. You can't look inside. But there's sacred water on the floor. Great. Great, 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 great. Okay. Uh, real quick. Remember when I called my shot on blast? Zero seems to be just the better version of that. I don't have the points for it, though. At least not right now. Seems locked. Great. Is there anything else up here? Nope. Back downstairs we go. Oh, it's so little spirit activity now that we have our camera back. Spooky door faces. <sighs> Hooray, the door can be opened. Number three, Itsuke told me to hold the key for his room. He said, I can't let anyone go in there. He said, if his friend comes to give the key to his friend, I am so happy that he gave me such an important job. Itsuke's friend came to the house. I got scared, so I hid. I couldn't give him the key. Many offerings have been placed on the altar-like shelf. Maybe this room was used for some kind of ritual. There's anything in the half open drawer that it looks like a mummy is sits on the chest of drawers. <laughs> oh jeez, that is awful. Well, candles and talisman stored in the drawers. <sighs> Camera angles, please. There we go. I'm a spooky door. And I'm no longer locked. Hooray! Alright. 
let's just get a quick sense of where I am at. I came in through here. This hallway goes around. That's that big room. And I probably need to go in here. Great. So before we go into that room, let's get a sense of this area that I kind of skipped over a bit. Okay. There's like one little other bit, right? Nope. No, there was not. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Into the spooky lock door. Well, this is a big empty room. Surely nothing bad will happen. Mm, stairs. Something on the floor. It's sacred water. Are we going to have to fight the falling woman again? Are we going to have to fight the camera angles again? <laughs> There's railing this time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mayu is in this room. You try calling to her, but she doesn't answer. Bell design on the door. Crimson kimono. Crying Mayu. Uh, speaking of Mayu, no, nope, her charm is not updated. Um, cool. Let's follow the ghost. Undid the lock that was on the door. Great. Cool. Hearing more of those uh, shrine bells. Happy now. Where? Uh, that was not a sure chance, not at all. Great, cool. What a waste. Oh my goodness! Thank you, this game, for having. A feature, okay, so this is where we get into, like, the history of features and games. <laughs> um, around the PS2 era, it seems, is when we started getting the introduction of your controller has been unplugged. We're going to pause the game for you. Um, that's what just happened. Uh, I, I, my controller was having issues. Like, I was kind of just uh, having input get read and stuck that way for a little bit. So... <laughs> Um, that was like the last three seconds before the pause. Um, it was just like, nope, 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 please stop. Look down at my controller and it was, it was, you know, the, the analog light was turned off and it just turned off again. Um, so thank goodness this game has that feature where, uh, they, uh, <laughs> they pause the game if you lose connection. Um. So I'm going to sort that out real quick. Oh, goodness.
as much as I like having a <laughs> controller extension cord, um, it is kind of a pain when this happens. Um, anyway, enough with controllers spooking me. Let's go back to ghost spooking me. Oh no, I was so close to getting that. <laughs> that was rude, she just appeared right on top of me. Okay, you know what, ghost? Tell you what, we're taking this upstairs. <laughs> we're going to the room that actually has a thing in it. But also, it's slightly open so I can actually, like... Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, wow, that's... That's full of nope. Oh, jeez. Okay. this I do not like this at all not one bit nope oh it's the jingling oh the jingling is oh jeez oh jeez okay there you are Hey, Crimson Diary number two, let's read you real quick. Just take a quick break. The day after the ceremony, my brother Itsuki came back alone. His black hair was white. Where was my other brother, Mits uh, Mutsuki, gone? Uh, since Mutsuki disappeared, Itsuki doesn't want to talk. He is still nice to me, but his eyes are always sad. What happened on the day of the ceremony? Itsuki gave me a bell. My eyes are not too good. The bell was... The bell will tell him if I go near... a. High lights changing behind the text. That's mean. My eyes are not too good. The bell will tell him if I go near a dangerous place. Itsuki said he will always come when he hears the bell. He said even if I am hiding away and crying, he will find me. Twins and girl. Uh, an old photo was stuck in the diary. Twins and photo girl is put away. Camera. No. Controller. <laughs> Stab it. Crimson Diary number one. Both inside and outside are pitch black. Nobody is in the house, but I feel a presence. Itsuki, help me. I'm so scared I can't get out of the closet. Help me, Itsuki. Something's reflecting in light. Great, it's film. Something's reflecting in light. It's herbal medicine. Okay. Now that my ghost problem is over. For now. <laughs> Let's head back down to this. Um, okay. I guess, I guess not. Did I get anything out of that? Like, I was reaching for something. Did I... Okay, um... Cool, 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 Uh, we have four butterfly diaries. Twins and girl. Uh, twin boys and little sister found in a girl's diary.
Hmm. So were Itsuki and Mutsuki twins then? Like I know they've they've brought up the idea of boys will work if we don't have, you know, shrine maidens. Okay. Wait, hold on. What? I've never gone down that hall? Okay, let's go down the hall. It's a really long hall to go down. Boards have been nailed up over the carefully on the door. What were they trying to keep from getting in? Slash keep from getting out. Uh, oh no, that... That's that room. Did I get the key? Maps, key, old books, photos, scraps. Like, I was going in there reaching for something, and then... She appeared. I don't seem to be able to interact with that space any further. I mean, things kind of happened very quickly. You know what, let's go back through this door real quick. And just see what's in this little side cubby that I didn't check out earlier. It's herbal medicine, hooray! Boxes piled up, has haphazardly old sickles and other tools stored inside. Cool. Controls. Guess we go back to Mayu? And yeah, can't can't interact with that. Answer, she's crying. There's still a bell design. Okay. Now what? I have not gone in that door. Was it locked? It was not. This sure looks like something that's going to open at some point. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I... Wow. Woof. I... this room, uh, sucks. <laughs> oh, wow, and that writing is only visible with the camera. Oh, that's really... ooh, that, that's some proper chills down the spine with that. <laughs> 
Oh, wow. Wow, that's, uh... That doesn't progress me any further, but that sure is neat. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that, that's, that's really neat. <laughs> that's some really neat design, but also... Uh... Okay, so really nothing. I can't interact. There's an object on the shelf. Film is reflecting in the light. Don't see anything in the cabinet. Green Diary 1. It's been at least 10 years since I last came here with my father. The village still looks exactly the same. Coming here when I was a boy was what made me want to become a folklorist. I wonder how Itsuki and Mutsuki are doing. The letter Itsuki sent worries me. I asked around and was told that Itsuki and Mutsuki died of an illness. There was no mention of anything like this in the letters we exchanged. I looked through Itsuki's writings. His family were covering it up, but I found that he was looking for a way out of the village. Since he was a little boy, he was always afraid of some sort of ceremony. I wonder if he ran away from the village. If not, then he has to be here somewhere. I met Yai and Sai. The ceremony master says they will be the shrine maidens at the next ceremony. I asked them about Mutsuki, uh, but they wouldn't answer. The last letter from Itsuki said to come for Sai and Yai on the day of the ceremony. I wonder if he was trying to help Yai and Sai escape from the village. This plot is thickening. The door seems broken, doesn't budge no matter how hard you try. I guess we'll check out here again. Countless dolls, every single one of them is missing parts. Some old sewing implements on the shelves. They must have been used by whoever lived in this room. Something on the drawer. The real good film. Candles and tinder stored in the chest of drawers. That's the door back across. Oh no. Not a very good shitter chance, but I'll take it. I missed the fatal frame because, again, the buttons on PS2 controller are kind of sticky, and like the the whole pressure sensitivity thing is actually kind of a problem in terms of uh, of of being able to press things. There you are. Because you do have to press things down like really hard. Oh, there 
there was a fatal frame chance there for just a split second. Oh, geez. <laughs> okay. How are we doing on uh, points? I could upgrade Blast. Right now, I'm trying to decide if I want to stick with Blast or if I want to go all the way up to zero uh, and, and see what I can do with that. Um, the problem with zero is that it takes three pips, and I've only got four. All right, well, good news is there's no spooky writing all over the walls here. I guess what I'm doing right now is a ghost hunt. Looking for hiding places for this girl. Real brief aside, uh, one of the films, I think it was film reel four, um, had just like a random bit of here's a girl hiding in a, in a cupboard. Like that's what clued me in on checking the cupboard. Um, so that's a that's a nice little uh, we'll call it a callback, I guess. Um, hmm. Here's a door I haven't checked. It looks like. But wait, what? Okay, so yeah, I just never went that way. Weird. Okay. Um, This game is making me real tense. <laughs> oh. Alright, and the door is broken no matter what. Okay. Cool. Where to next? I guess we go back by Psy and head over this way? And by Psy, I mean me, Mayu? Mayu? <laughs> the lines, they're blending. Still don't have a key. Undid the lock. Great. There we go. Found her. That's the order of the day is look for hiding places where a child would hide. Much too close. Much too close. Oh, come on. <laughs> How was that not a fatal frame? That's just a miss. On both our parts. Oh, jeez. Okay. Where yet? Where yet?
again missed the fatal frame chance. Please stop. <laughs> I do not want the dark. The dark was spooky. I do not want. Perfectly normal room. No, no writing on the wall or anything. Where's she going to show up next? Like, how many times am I going to have to do this? And where is the key going to appear? Is ultimately kind of what I'm wondering. Like, I kind of like this segment for its uh, general, I, I don't know, spookitude. Uh, a box has been placed carelessly in the corner of the hallway. There's a large crack in it. It's I like, you know, I like the, the, the pieces of this, I guess, but like, I think I would enjoy it more if I wasn't doing this as a let's play, uh, for, for this specific segment, because like, meh, dang controls, um, ultimately it comes down to, I, I don't know where to go next, um, like, the, we're kind of just at the point where it's look around trying to find the places where a ghost is going to be around spooky corners and, and hiding in closets like this one over here. So I guess we're well that way next. Um, Real quick, this door was in fact locked, right? The door seems locked. Great. And this was just a bunch of boxes... So, yeah, essentially it was like we're playing hide-and-seek with a ghost, which is kind of neat, honestly. Like, it's a neat sequence, but it is also just so vague in terms of where to go next. I... I probably should have saved. Do, 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 do. Let's double check our map, make sure we're going in the right direction. Uh... Sure, I guess. Okay, let's take a moment, stop, save, and then go on to where I suspect is the next closet where girl is hiding. Mm. We are crossing over the point where I really should probably just call it an episode, but I, I'm in it. I'm just... I'm just really in it right now, and I want to kind of, I don't want to leave off in the middle of this, of this, essentially. Hey there, fleeing girl. Okay, that's, that's a, that's a, a hint and a sign. <laughs> Those are the words I'm looking for. Okay, so she was not, in fact. That's still a really good camera angle. She was not in that closet. I hear Bill. Hmm. Old tender and charcoal.
Well, that really is not worth doing. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Board's nailed firmly to the window, even if we're light outside, light probably wouldn't get in. Hey, champs. Hi, everybody. Oh, my goodness. Oh, jeez. Oof, oof, oof. The slowdown and also the... That was a lot of health. Graphics cannot handle this many ghosts at once. <laughs> somebody not everybody okay this is this is a problem Okay, look, ghosts. Oh boy, the uh, the frames, they hunger. I disagree, but okay, sure. Good gravy, this is ridiculous. Okay. You're nearly dead. Just die. Okay, I guess not. Of course, it's people with torches. People with torches always get to attack way more than anything else in any game ever, apparently. <laughs> Ugh, of course, that's what's doing me so much damage. Yeah. <laughs> 
Meanwhile, that guy with the long stick is a cheater. Oh, come on. Torch guy, can you just die already? We're just throwing technique out the window in favor of just come on. No, uh, missed a frame chance. I I could have actually done that one. Okay, Spear Champ. You, me, and your dumb stick. Or ignore my input, that's cool too. I have gone through so much herbal medicine in this stupid room. I didn't even really need to do this. Alright, mate, come on. Well, at least we got the summer of medicine back. <laughs> and this was all just a dead end, right? Yep. Do you have a student mirror if ever I need one again, I guess, but I already have one, so well, hey, we took care of the ghost in the dead end. And I've punched the mic. Perfect. I really do not want to leave this episode off here. Like, this feels like a really bad stopping point. We still don't have a key. There's still no Spooky Ghost Girl in that closet. Alright, so she went in here. Is there another door in here? Uh, pots, vessels, stuff like that. Okay, we had a bell just rang, so here. Hmm, stuck on the inside. Do do just one quick spin to make sure that she's not gonna.
Whoop, nope, she's here. <laughs> Not quite a three-hit combo. There she is. <laughs> She's really close. She's really close. I told you how much I really like the rumble feature in this game. It is extremely well done. There's the bell key. Red speckled crystal. We just need to go through there and up the stairs, right? Or is it up those stairs? It's up those stairs. Okay. Now is it falling woman time? Oh good, it's not. We're going to unlock this door, see what happens, and then plan is let's hit a save point and call it a day. Oh, Mayu, no. I did the lock with the bell key. Green Diary 5, Itsuki, uh, I pray that you read this. I can't stay in this village any longer. I told Yai and Sai that I would come for them on the day of the ceremony. After they make it out of the village, I'll take care of them. Don't worry. When I get them out, I'll come back for you next. Ryozo Munakata. B. 
bound diary too uh there was some words i probably should have read at the bottom of the screen the ritual is coming up soon mutsuki uh, is too weak to run away and there is no way i can there's no way i can carry him he said he'd forgive me no matter what happens he does not want sai and yai to suffer either I promised him that I would help Sai and Yai escape after the ritual. Mutsuki will remain here as a butterfly. I plan to remain here in the village with him too. Uh, where's most of the books have been blacked out so nobody can read them? Oh, good. Bound Diary 1. If we perform the Crimson Sacrifice, then Yai and Sai will not need to go through with the ritual. But if our ritual fails, they will be the only ones left for the next sacrifice. I have to get Yai and Sai out of the village. The horror has to stop. There has to be another way. I cannot let Yai and Sai suffer like this. The old passageway under Kurahe, uh, Kurahe Shrine has been sealed ever since some twins tried to escape through there long ago. The ceremony master said they were killed by a cave-in during their escape. Uh, concern, the ceremony master sealed the old tree which enshrines the remaining. Mm. Although the path is sealed, a passageway still leads out. Opening the seal should make it possible to leave the village. The pinwheel keys that open the seal have been handed down through the families of the four veiled priests. I was able to find the pinwheel for this family in the storehouse. After passing through a passageway, you only have to run through the forest and remember to never look back. But will those two have the willpower necessary? The diary, a small t stone tablet, and a crystal are lying here. Touch about a crest. Fluorite. Through here, we can get out of the village. I won't leave you behind. I kept looking for you. Now let's get out of here. Mm -hmm. Chapter 8 Half Moon. The ritual. It's beginning. Hurry! We need to get to the old tree. Oh good. We're right next to a save point. Excellent. We need to get to the old tree. That's a problem for next time. <laughs> oh man, that was a that chapter was mean. That was that was that was good stuff. Um, um good good proper spooks? Mm -mm, spooks. Alright. Well, it's been a little bit of a long one today, but hey, we, we, we wrapped up that chapter. Um, I think there's only like 10 chapters in the game uh, from what I saw in that spoiler-free walkthrough I, I peeked at um, just to, to you know get unstuck when I completely lost the trail of things. Oh, jeez, okay. Well, I'm tense, but hey, we're done for the day, so thank you very much for watching. I've been Bryce. This has been VHS Play. Have yourself a lovely evening.